Today we're going to be talking about how to list the first several terms of a sequence. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to list the first five terms, given that a sub 1 is equal to 1, and a formula here for a sub n plus 1, or the n plus 1th term, which we've been given as 5a sub n minus 3. So in a problem like this, when we're listing the first several terms, the first thing we want to do is start constructing a table of values. We know here that our first term, a sub 1, is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and write that down. a sub 1 is equal to 1. Now we need to find the next term in the sequence. Well, that's going to be a sub 2. And we don't know the value of it yet, but we know that it's going to be 1 greater than a sub 1. So we've got here a sub 2. Okay, so how do we find a sub 2? We're going to be using the formula for a sub n plus 1. Well, if we're using this formula here for a sub n plus 1, we know since this is n plus 1 and this is n, that the value of a sub n plus 1 is dependent on the previous value, a sub n, right? Because a sub n is exactly 1 less than a sub n plus 1. So a sub n is going to be us plugging in the previous value that we found. So to find a sub 2, we're going to get 5, right, which comes directly from our a sub n plus 1 formula, times a sub n, the previous term, that's a sub 1, so we multiply that by 1 there because the value of a sub 1 is 1, and then we go ahead and subtract 3. So what we get there then is a sub 2 is equal to 2, 5 minus 3, which is 2. So now we have a value for a sub 2. a sub 3, the next value, is going to involve the exact same formula, but now we're going to be using a sub 2, the previous term, before a sub 3. So we're going to get 5 times our previous value here for a sub 2, 2, and then we're going to subtract 3 there. That's going to give us 10 minus 3, and we know that a sub 3 is equal to 7. And we just keep going like this until we have the first five terms of our sequence. So a sub 4 will be 5 times the previous value, 7 minus 3. That'll give us 35 minus 3, or a sub 4 is equal to 32. And finally, a sub 5, the fifth value or the fifth term in our sequence, will give us 5 times 32 minus 3, which is going to give us 160 minus 3, or a sub 5 is equal to 157. And we could just continue on like that for however many terms we were asked to list. So that's how you use the first term in a sequence and a formula for the n plus 1th term to list the first several terms in the sequence.